Hey everyone, this is AVJV Gaming bringing you this Team of the Season player review. And as you can see up on screen, guys, we have ourselves Team of the Season Ciro Immobile, who is an 82 raid. I picked him up for 88,500 coins. And when I picked him up yesterday, his price has been going up and down a little bit. He went down to around 70,000 coins last night. But nonetheless, this was requested by a subscriber. So if you guys would like to see any Team of the Season player reviews, leave them down below in the comments section. Or you guys can alternatively send it to me on Twitter and I will check it out and then make the review for the upcoming day. Now you guys can see over there that he has played 9 games for us, scored 13 goals, got 2 assists and he was an all round really nice player. He's got some nice stats as many of you guys know if you followed me from FIFA 13. Um, he was actually one of those players I used to say to everyone to give him a go. He was a silver player and now he's a gold player and look at him. He's on team of the season. Look at those in-game stats. They look really nice. He's got some really nice finishing over there. 89 finishing at that too. He's also got some fairly decent heading accuracy which is 85, and I did find a lot of the time he would jump to the ball and sort of just tap it in the back of the net easily with the head. And also he's got 93 volleys, which I did find quite nicely. He did go and push off quite a few overheads, uh, going on the side volley, and uh, it was just beautiful using this guy as a striker. I felt he did everything that you need as a striker up front. I think we're going to go over some play information. You can see he's only got two-star skill moves. I'd definitely say that was probably one of his weaknesses. But that is just one of the couple weaknesses that I did pick out with this player. He does have three-star weak foot, which I probably felt was a bit higher because on occasions he did switch over to his weaker foot and he did do a quite a nice job. He's six foot one. He's 22 years old, so he's a very young player. Very, very good to look out for in the future, guys. We'll probably see a very nice card of him next season in FIFA 15. But over there, the physical attributes, you can see he's got some decent acceleration stats. All those stats over there look really nice, including the 93 strength over there. A re really big standout stat because he is got a very good ability to nudge off people off the ball and his balance as well was also fairly nice in the game. I didn't find him really getting shuffled off too much. Over there you can see his vision attacking positioning. I probably wouldn't say that was believable because he did play better. Now over there you can see this is one of the free kicks I actually uh, had over here. You can see that we're going to take it with Guarin. I played him in a 4-1-2-1-2 and a 4-3-3. I actually used uh, Team of the Season Callahan and Jovino alongside him in the 4-3-3 and look at that riding that overhead over there riding those bikes getting that overhead in and he just does those so frequently in the game. It was beautiful. And the Team of the Season Callahan just pacing it down that wing. And I'll actually have a review on Team of the Season Callahan, uh, Team of the Season Gervinho, and Inform Boney. Uh, I think they'll all be out after this one. So they're all going to be out later tonight. So be sure to guys to check those out. Now over here you can see he does even assist a few times. Uh, mainly it was off his head that he did assist. And look at that chip from Biabiani. A very nice uh, shot indeed. But over here you will find a majority of the time he does beat keepers. He does beat defenders when it came to uh, getting head in and also you can see here ball roll drag back splitting those two attackers can't really do any other skill moves as he's only two star skill so that was a weakness of his but in terms of finishing 98 finishing you're never really going to go wrong with that also that 93 strength going to give a lot of defenders a very difficult time now also, I found with his dribbling, it was not too bad, but it could have been a little bit better, I would have said. But nonetheless, it was still a decent stat on him because it wasn't really bad. You can see over there how he just kept control of the ball. Um, in terms of shooting-wise, anywhere within in or out the box, anywhere within the box, he was very good. He just switches mainly to his head, and occasionally he'll go onto his feet, and when he does go to his feet, he'll just knock it in. You can see over there the ball getting tapped in with the head, and that's more or less what he did a majority of the time. Now, over here, you can see, goes for the shot, it falls straight back to him, and he felt a bit like a ball magnet. The ball did go back to him quite frequently, so it was just one of those things with him, and over here, yet again, another aerial threat. So, very good for heading, a very nice player if you guys like to just run down the wings and cross it. Um, a very key player over there, and you probably see him in a couple pink slip squads if people do catch on to how much of a great player he is but yeah getting back to finishing in the, in and around the box um, in the box he's really good on the edge of the box he's really good it's more or less from the 30 yard range he doesn't tend to uh, tap them in you guys will see over here going for that shot over there and it just sort of goes wide or it more or less just goes at the keeper it wasn't perfect and I was using manual controllers so uh, that just goes to show that that uh, wasn't all that great even though my <laughs> accuracy was fairly good so definitely guys um, get this guy if you guys have enough coins for him he's only around about the 60,000 or maybe 70,000 coins went to my soul mine so he's a really nice player and he does get a really nice record for you as well in the team and over here you can see finding the ball on the weaker foot not too bad over there considering as I said before it was uh, manual controllers and you can see that he actually won me the cup over there <laughs> it's in a straight run actually four games straight with him and he got me the 4k over there so overall again him pros and cons great heading a very enjoyable player to use just for crossing the ball into him in terms of strength as well very good for muscling your uh, other opponent's center backs and just getting in and out of sticky situations Finish 
finishing wise also a very very easy player to use just power it a little bit two or three bars and it'll go in the back of the net shot power again very good on that and finesse shots also were very decent even even near finesse shots were good in terms of weaknesses though two star skill moves probably would have liked to see that at three but that's an upgrade for next season and his long shots i felt they could have been a little bit better so i've given him a 9.3 rating he is my favorite player and i have to say i really was happy with this team of the season card so any, anyway guys i'm gonna wrap up the review here hopefully you guys did enjoy if you guys have around about 70,000 coins buy this guy try him out you'll probably be more surprised than ever and also if you guys have any suggestions on players you would like me to review leave them down below in the comment section and i'll get to them as soon as i I can so hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video by all means if you're new be sure to drop it a like subscribe if you're new as well for more of daily f14 content guys i really do appreciate your guys support thank you guys very much this has been avjv gaming and i'll catch you all for the next video